Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Beth Ann and today I'm doing a book haul. Um, I think it's been a very long time um, since I did one of these and I'll actually probably do two coming up. So I want to say that I don't normally do them, but I'm about to prove myself wrong over the next little while on this channel. So this book haul is exciting because it was at my local public library and it was $5 for a whole bag of books. You could bring your own bag and fill it for $5. And I was really shocked by how good the selection was. And I think it's partly because they have like their big fundraising book sale in the fall where they sell books for like individually um, for whatever they price them at. And they had a strict rule that they would only sell things during that sale that had been published since 2012. So very recent fiction, because I guess that's where they make their money. But I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, I would have paid way more than $5 for this. I would have paid $5 for like each of these, uh, for a lot of them. So anyway, let's dive in. I'm not going to say much about each book. Um, but let's just do a quick little tour. So the first one hardcover book, it's missing its jacket, but it is, wait, I can hold it there. It's Sonia Sotomayor, uh, My Beloved World. Um, so obviously, obviously I was going to read that one or get that one. Um, so I think, uh, I think it's her um, memoir. Um, so really, uh, really excited about that one. Then let's see, I've got a YA book. This was a library cast off. And this is My So-Called Bollywood Life by Nisha um, Sharma. So I think, well, I was just talking about things pre-2012, but I think we're also going to get things that were cast off from the library since that book sale in the fall. So my so-called Bollywood life, so it's a YA novel. Um, when I skimmed the um, uh, the inside of the jacket, um, there's going to be a little bit of romance, coming of age story, and um, obviously we've got um, a strong uh, cultural angle of uh, Indian culture. So I think that will be... That will be fun. I've got Richard Wright, Native Son, another one that's just obviously this should be on my bookshelves and obviously um, I should read it. So looking forward to this one as well. Another one in the obviously category is Not That Bad, Dispatches from Rape Culture, edited by Roxanne Gay. I have, oh, sorry, I just like cast myself out of the frame there. It's all about the book, folks. So um, yeah, this is obviously, it's Roxanne Gay. I actually have never read Roxanne Gay, um, but she is very, very high on my priority list. All right, and then we've got something I'd never heard of. So this is not in the obviously category, Oh my gosh, I keep, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to stop shoving myself out of the frame here. So we've got Brodeck, a novel uh, by Philippe Claudel. So if any of you have heard of this or read it, I would love to hear what you think. Um, I totally forget. Oh yeah, this did sound really interesting. So um, there's a great war and our main character Brodeck had been forced into a brutal concentration camp during the war. It is now after the war, he's returned to his village, taken up his old job. Um, and after a while, a stranger comes to live in the village and arouses all kinds of suspicions because he's weird. He's different from the villagers. Um, and uh, then he he sort of, um, well, here it just says, the stranger produces drawings of the village and its inhabitants that are both unflattering and insightful. So the villagers murder him. The authorities who witness the killing tell Brodick to write a report, which is his job, is to uh, write reports for the local government. And um, the report they order him to write is essentially a whitewash of the incident. And so we're going to get um, a parallel narrative. So we're going to get the official narrative that he writes, but then we're also going to get um, sort of an unofficial uh, version um, that Brodeck weaves together. So that sounded just striking and I'd never heard of it. And I wonder why I've never heard of it. So I'm going to give that one a try someday. Okay. Another one in the obviously category, we have The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Solja, a novel. Am I obviously going to buy a novel by a famous hip hop artist? You bet I am. I'm very excited about that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, this one. Um, so the author is Christine de Pizan, who's a medieval writer. Um, so I'm very interested in this sort of historical women writers. And this is the book of the city of ladies. And so I don't know much about it. I think it's about envisioning a city where it's just women um, in medieval time periods. So I'm excited to, to see what this is about. Uh, another sort of random fiction one. I picked this one up for the cover. This is Black Watch 
by Jenna Burtonshaw, and I don't know anything about it. In the, the tiny print here, it says, A dark power rises, a deadly journey begins. And it is fantasy, and I think kind of urban fantasy, so I was like, let's give it a try. What else do we have? Oh, we have a bug book. A Fly for the Prosecution by M. Lee Goff, How Insect Evidence Helps Solve Crimes. So it's going to be about forensic entomology, and I'm an entomologist, so I would like to learn about this, please. What else? What else? Okay. Um, oh, Jhumpa Lahiri, the namesake, a novel. Um, and I've heard some sort of mixed reviews of this, but generally positive, and I would really love to read um, more Jhumpa Lahiri. So that was an obvious pick for me. Um, then we've got Ian, Mc Ian, I never know how to pronounce this, Ian McEwen, um, Solar. And so he's the author of Atonement, which is very much like a sappy love story, if I remember correctly. And so this is actually about climate change. I wasn't going to pick it up until um, I read the inside of the jacket. And uh, it's a um, scientist who's a Nobel Prize winning physicist. His best work is behind him. Um, he's sort of rubber stamping things, getting his famous name out there, making a lot of money. Um, and uh, then he's half-heartedly heading a government-backed initiative tackling global warming. Uh, his personal life is falling apart. He's a compulsive womanizer with his fifth marriage ending, but this time the tables are turned because his wife is the one having the affair and he's still in love with her. Um, and then something happens to bring his personal and professional life together. I don't know about it, what it, what that is, but um, I was drawn to the climate change aspect, a book about a scientist aspect. I think that's really interesting. And then he also just sounds like kind of a gross guy and, and the author is clearly acknowledging that and what, you know, wants to talk about it. So I'm like, this could be good. We'll go along for the adventure. Okay, then... Paulo Coelho, The Winner Stands Alone. So a novel by Paulo Coelho, who wrote The Alchemist, which I read in high school and haven't read since. And it's the only work by Paulo Coelho that I've read. So I picked this up immediately because I don't own any other books by him. And hopefully this will um, kick me in the butt to actually read him. Alaska, James A. Michener. Um, this is a chunker. So my brother moved to Alaska about a year and a half ago now. And my mom actually has a copy of this and started reading it um, to, to get just sort of like a sweeping view of Alaska, I guess. And so I figured I'd pick it up too. And maybe I'll take a look at it. Maybe not. Um, okay. And then I think, so we're just about at the bottom here. Um, so the final thing that I got was this little collection of some children's books from, these are all printed in the 1910s um, or 1920s. And I have sort of a collection of old child, um, old kids books like this from both of my grandparents, both, sorry, both of my grandmothers who were born in the 1920s. And so I have um, many books that were theirs growing up in the 1920s and 1930s. And so I had actually never heard of these, but um, I thought I might uh, pick them up since they were so cheap, which is maybe a little silly. Anyway, we've got Further Adventures of Lad by Albert Payson Terhune. And I just thought this was funny because like we always hear of Lassie, right? But here's Lad, the dog. So I don't know. I think it'd be fun to see what that one's about. And then we've got um, two sort of reading primers. These are the New Path to Reading, book two and um, book three. And they've just got really fun early 20th century uh, illustrations in these. So I thought these would just be fun um, in my small, very small collection of 1910s, 1920s ancient books. So that was my $5 library haul. I'm very excited about it. Now I just need to like quit my job so I have time for reading because um, that's something we can do, right? Right? No, I love my job. But I will try to get to some of these sooner rather than later. So that's my library sale book haul. What books are you reading recently? Have you had any new acquisitions you're excited about? Um, I'd love to hear it. I'll be back in the next uh, couple of weeks with another video and I will have another book haul coming soon, but it will be all science books. So just a little teaser for that. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.